insights to ramadan iftar at sunset this program reaches the english speaking listeners innovatively for the first time in sri lanka iftar at sunset brought to you by the sri lanka chapter of the world forum for sri lanka muslims and supported by the family of good assalamu alaikum welcome to insights to ramadan iftar at sunset dear listeners we received positive comments jazakallah even today we will be sharing more important insights today's insight to ramazan speech delivered by ashik ac agar muhammad nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al karim assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh dear brothers and sisters we are in the month of the noble quran the very period when the first revelation was received by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam i would like to capture this moment to share a few words on the significance of the wahi revelation there are two types of problems that we all experience as humans the first type type is what we can call immediate problems these are the things we encounter in our daily lives like making sure we have enough food to eat having the right clothes to wear having a safe and comfortable place to live and taking care of our health and so on the second type is what we can call ultimate problems or ultimate questions these are the kinds of questions that make us think about life's purpose and meaning for example questions such as who am i where did i come from or how did i get here on earth where will i go after my life what happens to me when i am no longer alive and what is the purpose of my life these questions go beyond our everyday concerns and make us think about the bigger picture of our existence to solve our immediate problems so everyday problems we have been given the gift of intellect to address the ultimate problems we can utilize our intellect or brain because intellect has its own limitations such as being bound by time and space our intellect or brain cannot go beyond the limits of time and space allah has given humans another way to help and guide them when their five senses and thinking can't the source is called divine revelation which means knowledge provided to humans by god through special messages so the alternative source or tool to obtain solutions for ultimate questions is wahi which means revelation human intellect may understand general instructions but it is not able to grasp all the particulars of the path leading human being to salvation therefore they need revelation the revelation wahi is the communication of allah to his prophets and humans in particular a guidance to mankind this revelation known as wahi provides answers to our profound questions This These answers are simple no complexity who am i and from where did i come into existence who he provides a clear response you originate from the creator who brought you into being why am i here what is the purpose of life and existence the answer is clear as stated in the quran alladhi khalaqal mauta wal hayata liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala wa huwal azizul ghafur he who has created death and life to test which of you excels in deeds he is the almighty the forgiving where will i go after my life you will either enter jannah paradise or face the hell fire the answer is found in the holy quran so as mentioned earlier the purpose of human life is to engage in ahsanul amal which means performing good deeds in other words it is to be a true abd of allah and engage in ibadah wa ma khalaqtu al jinna wal insa illa li abdu the quran states i did not create the jinn and humans except to perform ibadah for me the word ibadah in arabic includes two things worship and slavery very briefly i will remind you of the difference between worship and slavery when maghrib prayer comes up we worship allah when isha comes up we worship allah but in between the prayers we are slaves of allah when you are sleeping you are not worshiping but you are still a slave when you wake up 
when you are driving to work even if you are not reciting quran or you are not doing an act of worship but you are still a slave in other words worship is specific acts the act of fasting the act of praying the act of making hajj the act of reciting quran the act of giving sadaqa these are acts of worship but a slave is a slave all the time whether he does those acts or not this concept is very powerful worship is one part slavery is the other ibada includes both so being an abd of allah involves two fundamental aspects two main things worshiping him and acting like a slave my dear brothers and sisters let us strive to fulfill the purpose of our lives in this world by being true abds of allah aiming for eternal happiness in jannah our ultimate goal in life wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Today's insight to Ramazan speech was delivered by Ashik AC Agar Muhammad The sunset time right now is 6:21 in Colombo it's now the time for the azan Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Allah أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول Allah 
اللهم رب هاجه الدعوة التامة والصلاة القائمة آت محمدا الوصيلة والفضيلة وابعثه مقاما محمودا الذي وعدته إنك لا تخلف الميعاد O oh Allah, the Sovereign Lord of the ever-establishing prayer and of this perfect call, grant our leader, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, al Wasila, a high and special place in Jannah, which is the paradise, and al Fadila, a rank above the rest of the creation, and the highest rank and Elevate him to Maqam e Mahmud, an exclusively praiseworthy primacy reserved only for the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and bless us with his intercession on the Doomsday. Verily, you do not do anything against your promise. Allahumma inni laka sumtu wa bika amantu. وعليك توكلت وعلى رزقك أفترت Oh Allah, I have fasted for you, I believe in you, I put my trust in you, and I break my fast with your sustenance. Oh Allah, all praise belongs to you. Oh Allah, none can restrict what you expand and none can expand what you have restricted. None can guide whom you have left astray, and none can mislead whom you have guided. None can give what you withhold, and none can withhold what you bestowed. None can bring what you have distanced, and none can distance what you have brought near. O oh Allah, shower your mercy upon us. Guide us on straight path. Forgive all our sins, and grant us Jannatul Firdaus. Free us from hellfire. Ameen. We listen to the insights to Ramadan Iftar program. We will speak to you through the airways, inshallah, tomorrow at the same time. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Insights to Ramadan Iftar at Sunset Iftar at Sunset, brought to you by the Sri Lanka chapter of the World Forum for Sri Lanka Muslims and supported by the Family of Good. Program produced by Razia Jaufa.